Hey guys, what's up? Now, I've been using Windows 11 for a while now, and in this video, I'm going to tell you some things that suck in Windows 11. Hardware requirements are insane. Microsoft imposes strict hardware requirements to install Windows 11, meaning many people can't upgrade to it. Standard hardware requirements are understandable, such as RAM, hard drive or storage, but there are lots of other requirements that are insane. Like, your computer needs to have a TPM 2.0 chip, and the processor must be 8th generation Intel or 2nd generation AMD, or some selected 7th generation Intel processors. People who have purchased their PC two years or even one year back can't run Windows 11 because of these requirements. The irony is that after some time, Microsoft posted a hack that bypasses these mandatory checks, and people can install Windows 11 on their older machines and they're working fine. So why impose such hectic requirements in the first place? Changing the default browser is complicated. Microsoft wants you to use their Edge browser, so it is pre-installed and set as the default browser, and that's okay. But on Windows 11, Microsoft has made it harder to switch to any other browser. For example, if you want to use Google Chrome as your default browser, you will have to go to the app settings. Then default app. Now search for Google Chrome. When you open it, you have to change the default browser for all these extensions. When you try to change it, Windows 11 again insists on keeping the Edge as the default browser. It takes a lot of time to change the default browser. When you try to switch back to Microsoft Edge, you just open it and with a single click your default browser is changed for all the browser file types. Well, if you don't want people to use any other browser, just say it. Why use such a tactic? The taskbar cannot be customized. Another reason Windows 11 sucks is that they have removed the taskbar customization options. You cannot move it, increase or decrease icon size, ungroup the icons, and the taskbar doesn't show time on secondary monitors. You could do all these things on Windows 10 and now can't on Windows 11, so it's a big step down. Also, you cannot right-click on the taskbar to open the task manager. Why not, Microsoft? First, you make something useful, and when people become habitual, you remove that feature. Every time I have to open the task manager, I right-click on the taskbar and then realize, oh yeah, that's right, this option's no longer there. Start menu recommended section. The start menu is all good and working, but the recommended section is just too much. There should be an option to remove it for people who don't want it. If you disable it from the settings, just the recommended items disappear. The section is still there, taking all that space. However, Microsoft is testing a feature with the insiders. You can decrease the number of recommended items, but not completely remove or replace it. I don't want to show anyone my recently accessed or most accessed files here in the Start menu. If another person uses my computer or stands beside me, they'll see it as they open the Start menu. Complicated Interface In Windows 11, some things are not as straightforward as in Windows 10. You might not feel that way, but it irritates me. Like when you have to switch to a different Wi-Fi network. On Windows 10, you just have to click on the internet icon and switch to another network. But on Windows 11, you have to first click on the network icon, open the quick settings panel, and then click here to see the list of available networks. Why make it complicated when things were already simpler? Another complicated thing is the right-click context menu. When you right-click to open a file, it shows limited options. If you have to view full options, you have to click on show more options. These are the settings you regularly use, so they should be one click apart from you, but you have to click twice to reach them. Control panel is still here. Another thing that sucks on Windows 11 is the confusion between settings and control panel. Microsoft decided to remove the control panel and integrate it with the settings app a lot earlier. Because they wanted it to be more friendly to touch PCs, so they slowly removed options from the control panel and introduced them in the settings app through Windows 10 updates. It caused a lot of confusion. Now that you have decided to remove the control panel, why didn't you remove it in Windows 11? The control panel is much better and I liked it. You could deeply customize your PC using the control panel, but if Microsoft wants to remove it, then just remove it, or at least give a menu or link to open the control panel if it is still here. Why do I need to search for it and then open it each time? Lots of bloatware. Microsoft keeps embedding its unnecessary products in Windows 10 operating system. 
But in Windows 11, they've gone one step beyond and started embedding other companies' bloatware. When you click on the Start menu, you will see unnecessary programs pre-installed. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and what is this chip champ? Why are these apps pre-installed in my Windows 11? To remove them, you have to right-click and choose Uninstall. So, these are all the things that suck in Windows 11. Tell me in the comments what you don't like in Windows 11. It's not like I'm all negative, but these are just the things that I don't like. Soon I'll be uploading the video of the things I do like in Windows 11, so subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon.